For today's project, we're going to build a temperature and humidity data logger with Arduino. We're going to use a micro SD card reader to store our data that we gather from the temperature and humidity sensor. And we're going to use a real-time clock module to provide a timestamp for that data. While logging all that information on an SD card, with a push of a button, we'll be able to display an LCD screen that shows us the real-time temperature and humidity. Let's begin. In this project, we'll be using the Arduino Mega. It's the older R3 version. We'll be using a real-time clock module, the DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, a 20 by 4 i square c LCD display, a micro SD card reader to store our data, a half-size breadboard, a breadboard push button, a breadboard power supply, some jumper wires, and a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. We'll be using this micro SD card module as a data logger, but you can also use it for audio and video storage or just expandable memory. As you can see, this module has six pins and we'll be using the SPI communication or serial peripheral interface. The SPI pins for this micro SD card are the chip select pin, the serial clock pin, the MISO and the MOSI pins. The operating voltage is 4.5 volt to 5.5 volt with a current requirement of 0.2 to 200 milliamp. You'll notice two chips on the module. One is a 3.3 volt regulator and the other one's a logic level shifter chip. And this is good because it protects our micro SD card module which requires 3.3 volt while the Arduino we have here runs at 5 volt. This module supports micro SD HC up to 32 gigabyte and it supports the FAT file system. I formatted my card to FAT32 before using it. This diagram shows how I connected the RTC module to the microcontroller. I connected the SCL and SDA pins to the Arduino and provided power from the breadboard power rail. In this code, we're going to use the RTC library, and then here we're going to declare an object named RTC so that we can interface with the real-time clock module. Here we initialize the I2C bus and we initialize communication with the RTC module. These lines are commented out by default, but if you uncomment the lines, you can manually adjust the date and time. This gets the current date and time from the real-time clock, and this code is converted from 24-hour format to 12-hour format. This part of the code shows you what you're going to see on the LCD display, and this part of the code shows you what you're going to record on the data file. The DHT11 is powered from the breadboard rails, and the data pin is attached to pin 8 of the Arduino. For this sensor, we're going to use the DHT library. We're going to define it as attached to pin 8. This specifies the sensor model, DHT11, and this just creates a DHT object to handle sensor readings. This part of the code retrieves current humidity and current temperature and Fahrenheit. This section checks if the readings are valid with isNAN, which means is not a number. If it comes back true, that means the sensor fails and you get an error. It also displays the temperature in Fahrenheit with one decimal place and displays the humidity as a whole percentage. We log data to the SD card once every minute and this section writes the temperature and humidity values to the SD card file data.txt and you can do this in Celsius as well if you just add the modifications I provided here on the side of the screen. I also have a breadboard button attached to pin 2 of the Arduino and the ground rail of the breadboard. Now it's time to format my micro SD card. I'm going to connect it to my computer and format it for FAT32 before I do anything. Now that it's formatted I'm going to place the micro SD card in the onboard socket and I'm ready to go. Here's a diagram that shows the connections of my micro SD card module. The connections are a little bit hard to see on the Arduino board on this uh, image, but uh, so the CS pin is on pin 10, the SEK pin is pin 52, the MOSI and MISO pin 51 and 50, and then the VCC and ground. I, I connected both of those to the Arduino. Let's take a look at the code we have for the SD card module. The SDCS pin defines the chip select pin for the SD module. Below that you can see that we named the log file name data.txt. This initializes the SD card and if that fails you get an error message on the LCD display and the program stops. Every minute the program opens the data.txt on the SD card and if the file successfully opened it writes the current date and time from the real time clock. It logs the temperature and humidity readings from the DHT11 sensor and it closes the file to ensure that the data is saved. But if it fails to open, an error message will show up on your LCD display. Just a second ago, you saw that SD begin initializes the SD card interface, while SD open opens our file, datafile.print writes data to the file, and datafile.close closes the file and makes sure that all the data is written to the SD card. And the SD card stores the data in a comma separated format. 
and that just makes it easier to analyze later in tools like Excel or Python. The last thing I want to mention is the LCD display. It's I2C, so it's connected to Arduino, SCL, and SDA, and it receives external power from the breadboard power rails. For the LCD display, we want to use the Liquid Crystal I2C.h library, and this creates the LCD display with the I2C address 0x27. That may be yours. Yours may be different either manually or just a different model. So make sure you have the right one, otherwise your display is not going to work. This indicates 20 columns and 4 rows on my display. When the button connected to pin 2 of the Arduino is pressed, the LCD backlight comes on, and it comes on for 60 seconds. If you want to change that time, you can change it here. This is set for 60,000 milliseconds, which is equal to 1 minute. These are the static labels that you'll see on the LCD display, but you can change the message between the quotation marks at the LCD print to display any text that you want on the LCD, and that goes for the messages too. You can also adjust the column and row values if needed. You can position your message wherever you want it to appear on the display. Just know that 00, zero is column 1, row 1. That's all I'm going to say about the code. It's pretty well commented. There's a lot of helpful comments in here if you need them. I've been posting most code to the Facebook page, but sometimes I have to split it up and make multiple posts because it's so long, and that can sometimes be confusing. It's much easier to email the sketch to you and any diagrams that I have directly to you by joining the email list at bmonsterlaboratory at gmail.com. Just be sure to include add me in the subject and body of the email. Here's my setup. I have the LCD screen initially dark, and I press the button, and the backlight comes on. I can see the time. I can see the date and real-time temperature and humidity and every minute this will record temperature and humidity and timestamp to my SD card and after one minute the backlight will go off and it'll go dark again. The new uh, Arduinos I believe do have a built-in real-time clock. I haven't played around with it yet but I will soon. The real-time clock that we're using today is very cheap and pretty reliable. I'm pretty happy with this setup. This is all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy this type of stuff, consider subscribing to the channel. Also, share this with anybody else who might find it useful. And I'll see you again with another video.